two main stories to talk about today, guys. Two main stories to talk about today. You know, WWE always says that they go and hit the reset button after WrestleMania. Well, it remains to be seen. It remains to be seen if these two huge things that WWE did truly hit the reset button because the revival is officially out of the WWE and Braun Strowman, the monster among men's first challenger for the WWE Universal Championship is none other than Run the Fiend Bray Wyatt. We're going to be discussing that right here today. Before we do that, you all do yourselves a favor by becoming a subscriber and make sure you hit that bell for all notifications and go back and watch anything that you have missed on the channel so far, including all the little vlogs that I have done this week and, of course, my Raw review and... WrestleMania night one and two that I did last weekend. Be much appreciated. Now, wrestling fans, let's dive into these two uh, 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 news uh, uh, that came out. This big event that came out, if you want to say it, uh, uh, it is, Revival, leaving the WWE. Isn't it about time WWE just let them go? Seriously. WWE was not utilizing them one bit. WWE was just tossing them out to the wolves every time you saw them. Feeding them, jobbing them out, using them as, as nothing. And every time they would put tweets out that, that uh, uh, hinted that they could be leaving, that they were unhappy at the WWE, what they do? They slap the Raw Tag Team Championship or the SmackDown Tag Team Championship on them to try to make them happy, right? We all saw it. Never worked. They were unhappy working at the WWE. Let them go somewhere else. Best thing WWE's done with the revival. They let them go. This is not a huge loss for that company because you don't focus on tag team wrestling that much to begin with. Now I know some of you might say, well, Webby, they do a lot of six man and eight man and, and, and things like that. Yeah, they do sometimes, but still. WWE does not 100% focus on their tag team wrestling. And proof is, they only have a select number of tag teams that fans really care about. So, and, and, and one of the tag teams that uh, uh, was recently tag team champions wasn't even a tag team. They just slapped them together. A.K.A. Buddy Murphy and Seth Rollins. So, I don't want to really hear that uh, WWE invest a ton into their tag team wrestling. Okay? Best thing in the world. The Revival, gone from WWE. Let them go be utilized much better in AEW or in the Independence once the coronavirus gets taken away, decreased some, okay, now, let's dive into the monster among men, Braun Strowman, his first opponent, his first challenger in the WWE for the Universal Championship, I'm telling you, WWE's handcuffed this guy. WWE's made it very difficult 
for him to have a successful title reign. Either that or they are just going to take Braun Strowman's Universal Championship and take it off of him at Money in the Bank. Okay? That's one of two things. How can you take Braun Strowman and put him up against somebody that everybody universally enjoys? They enjoy, they react to Bray Wyatt. How can you do that? Whether you're scared of the Fiends character or whether you like the Fiends character, it gets a good reaction. Braun Strowman is going to have that's the, 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 the Seth Rollins effect, okay? Seth Rollins was getting a, a good mixed reactions when he was Universal Champion uh, uh, and he went up against The Fiend and he had that bad booking. And that's when it all crumbled apart. You're going to do the same thing with Braun Strowman on his first title defense? Are you kidding me? You don't need to do that. Either Bray Wyatt take the title off of him, or have some type of a uh, 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 screw finish where neither man wins. But I can tell you one thing. Braun Strowman, come Money in the Bank, does not need to beat The Fiend for a one, two, three in the center of the ring. He does not need to do that, okay? He just doesn't. If he does, it will be the end of Braun Strowman. Because he's already going to have enough hard, uh, 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 enough, uh, uh, hard time carrying that Universal title right now. He had a hard time carrying the IC strap. And once again, this shows you that WWE did not build anybody else up. Didn't build anybody else. Because if they did, they would not be feeding... Bray Wyatt to Braun Strowman as his first opponent. They would. They would be saving that for SummerSlam or something like that. That's just how I feel about it. Y'all let me know what you're thinking about in the comments below. And don't forget to do everything that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Which is to subscribe and do all that kind of good stuff. And of course, until I see you again, this is Webby. And I'll catch each and every one of you on the other side. Talk to you later.